Welcome to Oxford High School. My name is Bobby, and today we're going to be showing you some of the best features of our school. We think that all the New Year 7s really, really like it here, mm -hmm. because at first it seems a bit worrying and very daunting, but it really sh seems to shrink after a little bit of time, and it is really fun, so don't worry, it will be fun. At first when you come here, you might not you might be quite scared, but it is really fun, so yeah. don't worry and just enjoy yourself when you <laughs> come here. We really like science. <laughs> we are doing biology this term, and we the other week our teacher, Dr Latham, brought in um, all these sheep's organs, like their liver, their heart, their eyeballs. We got to touch them with gloves, and it was really fun. Yes, they feel really interesting. There's not what you expect them to feel like. <laughs> and it's really educational as well. Yes. It's really nice at Oxford High. I'm not from the prep school, but it's really, really lovely because um, everyone settles in really well, and you wouldn't know who was from the prep and who wasn't. And if you get lost or are worried about anything, you get a buddy in year eight, and there are always people from other years saying, oh, are you OK? Would you like me to help you get somewhere? And the teachers are really, really kind, so I really enjoy it. I think all the new girls have settled in really well. We've also really been enjoying our sport lessons, like netball and football, and it's really fun to play those in teams. I can remember in the first terms of my time in Year 7 being introduced to the idea of prefects and head girl and thinking, cool, not really a me thing, but I wonder who'll be head girl in our year. I think this is a good example of how the OHS elixir has shaped me. Yes, I would still consider myself a little nervous at times, and maybe a tad shy, but I've been given the space and time to grow into a stronger, more confident model of my Year 7 self. And through Year 7 to 11, I promise you're only just getting into the groove for the really good bit. Once the plight of GCSEs pass, you will enter into the wonderful world of OHS sixth form. Through tiny class sizes and one-to-one -one mentoring with form tutors, your passion and drive towards those select subjects will blossom through a pretty intense two years of A-levels. Alongside this, in sixth form OHS will play a pivotal role in developing leadership skills and inspiring enthusiasm in endeavours alongside the academic curriculum. From prefects to hockey captains, perspective choices and water polo club, new exciting things will become part of your life and you'll begin to understand how the cogs in your own system spin. During my time as head girl, I've had the opportunity to engage with the school community and begin to understand how OHS operates as a body. I've had the chance to observe our teachers in parents' evenings and open days and really see how deeply they care about giving us the education that will prove invaluable as we enter adulthood. Through group meetings, peer mentoring programmes and admissions days, I've been given the chance to observe how we, the student body, come together as a collective to compete and boost each other into achieving and thriving in things we never expect of us. But what makes OHS special, I believe, is the way in which these different groups come together. It is not only the hard work of our teachers or the perseverance of our student body that set us apart, but how we all work together to thrive within the safe confines of Bellbottom Road. At OHS, you are in safe hands. Hello and good morning. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Marina gardner Legg, and I am lucky enough to be the next head of Oxford High from January. So why should you and your daughter choose Oxford as your school? What I see that makes us special is our celebration of the joy of learning. Teachers are absolutely passionate here about their subjects and their teaching. Our students are engaged and active participants in their learning and regularly take it further. Who amongst us has not loved the joy of gaining information, of fulfilling curiosity or finding out a new skill or talent we didn't even know we had? That joy is at the heart of the experience that your daughter will gain here. You already know that our outcomes are the best in any girls' school here in Oxford but we are not an exam factory. No, a place which unlocks the potential and joy in young minds, and not just young minds, but female ones. And that's really important. We are the experts in how women learn, the stages of life they go through, and the relationships and support they need to fulfill their potential. Great pastoral care is not about alleviating pressure, that your daughter will face in the outside world. No, great pastoral care is about supporting your daughters to achieve outcomes that they don't even know they're capable of 
of making sure that she doesn't just aim high, but aims for the highest possible level, knowing that she will be supported and raised by the environment around her. Amazingly, we pride ourselves on tailoring our support to the individual need of your daughter. We care about her physical, emotional and mental well-being. We celebrate female achievement and here at Oxford it's cool to work, it's cool to achieve and it's cool to be clever. Just like all those famous <laughs> and infamous women that have thrived here. Usually, when we talk about great academic results, we tend to think, don't we, that other interests go by the board. Not here. Our music, our drama, our art, our sport, our whole curriculum, our co-curricula ranging from bees to ducks is based around your daughter and making sure that she is stretched beyond the timetable and formal curriculum. We help her find her passion whether that is within an academic subject or in one of her other interests, and enjoys celebrating this with them. This leads, of course, to happiness, self-confidence, spirit, a sense of fun, sparkiness, and young, empathetic women who know their minds and have their own voices, which will challenge and question the world around them. And we encourage that here. We encourage it because this is a school where we prepare your daughter, not for just any future, but an important future, where she will give back to the world around her and make it better for everyone else. A world where great things will be expected of her. Our wonderful role of high achieving alumni and the extraordinary benefits from being part of the wider GDST family demonstrates how we all prepare and elevate your daughter for a successful and powerful future. So, if you and your daughter have big dreams, if you wish to join a school community where the joy and delight of learning is celebrated throughout, where strong relationships and empathy thrive, a school which encourages your daughter to have a voice, a voice which challenges and questions the world around her and listens to her when she does, a school which serves you and your daughter with her ambitions. You are in the right place and I am really looking forward to meeting you. It's about inspiring them, it's about making them excited about your subject uh, and for me that becomes then a very creative and exciting process in itself because how do you do that? How do you go into a classroom of exceptionally bright, talented and motivated uh, students um, and get them brimming with enthusiasm about your particular subject? Um, and so what I like to do is to, as far as possible, get them finding things out for themselves. So there's very little chalk and talk, there's very little of me standing in front of a class and explaining and then writing on the, on the board and them copying notes. It's more about giving them something to do and say, okay, here's a problem, can you figure it out? And that starts in year seven where we give them um, cards with just a few details of the properties of some elements, just as Mendeleev had when he worked out the periodic table. And we say, can you put these in some kind of pattern? and they play around with it for a bit and then they put them in a pattern and suddenly they've worked out the periodic table for themselves and that's very memorable and that's very exciting and they feel very empowered by that and they feel brilliant because if you can make your students feel brilliant then they'll go and do brilliant things. <laughs> what are we going to write for that equilibrium there? And again, having done it once, the rest should be easier. Yeah. So the second one, we're transitioning from liquid through to gas so those are the equilibrium equations you need for question three. Any questions on question three? I like to include a lot of creative stuff, imaginative stuff, and say, can you go away and do a cartoon strip where um, an animal cell and a plant cell meet in a bar and have an argument as to which is the, the better cell? Make sure the plant cell wins, make sure the barman comes over, he's an amoeba, by the way, and he breaks the tension with a joke. And they love that because that gets them to use 
the information in a creative and original way and they all come up with something slightly different and it's funny and it makes it more fun to mark but the important thing is that they've then used uh, their knowledge, they've used their understanding and they remember it. So then they come to revise for that particular topic test and they go, oh, I went to revise, I found I already knew it. And you're like, yeah, that's how it works. One of the things I hope to do is to get them so excited about biology that they choose to do it for A-level and then hopefully choose to take it on to university because then you know you've really got to them that they've got so excited about what makes me excited about biology, they want to make it part of their lives, part of their futures, maybe part of their careers. One thing I really like about our school is the atmosphere inside the classrooms. Inside the classrooms, there's always someone there for you, whether you're struggling or whether you're just done with your work. Um, personally, for me, I really like maths and I would say I'm quite good at it. But the thing is about maths, the teachers don't just make you do the questions and that's it. They challenge you to think about the questions further, like trying to mix in something you learned before, or sometimes adding on things which aren't really in the syllabus. Another thing um, about maths is the homework, which is quite important. People tend to stress a lot about homework, but really it's only two pieces per week. And I think homework's quite good because it makes you remember what you did in the lesson, and make you do your independent, like, reflecting on the subject itself. It's really not that hard. I think the Montagues are more scary in voice and intonation, but I suspect that the Capulets could actually, with body language and aggression, beat them in the <laughs> final round. Do you write your thumb at us, sir? I do write my thumb, sir! Our girls are very clever and they are a real uh, pleasure to teach um, and I think it's important for us uh, teachers to make them understand uh, that they have to become independent and that they've got to use all the tools that they have to work out the answers by themselves um, and this is what we're trying to uh, uh, to do in lessons, just to, uh, yes, to stretch them, yes, to keep them on their toes, but also to make them understand that it is much better for them uh, uh, to try and find uh, the answers, either by themselves or working together. They, they, they can do it, and I think in that sense, we teachers are facilitators, because again, our girls are very clever, and they uh, love that uh, challenge. Good to hear you having so much to say to each other about the opening of the play. That suggests you remember what we read, which is great. Uh, who would like to remind me what's happened in the play so far? We've just like passed the bit where they're talking about how they're going to split the check. So they're um, Walter's father's life insurance check, um, who they all believe belongs to the mum, but they all kind of want to use it for their own like personal interests. Yes, good. Hi, I'm Amy. I've been here since year seven. And I think one of the things that I've always enjoyed, even since my very first day, was being able to talk really freely within the classrooms, being able to have a discussion that didn't feel forced. It wasn't the teacher saying, you've got to think this, you've got to say that. And being able to discuss something with your friends and making sure that what you're going to put in that essay wasn't going to fail, it was going to be a good idea, it was going to be well structured and also knowing at the back of your mind that you were always going to have that support from the teacher, that was one of the very best things that I thought. So, which of the historical events do you think could parallel the events of the legend? Um, Stella, you can start us off. Um, well, kind of an obvious one, but they both like, it's like Arthur's the hero that you all needed at that point in time. And Good. like, the big saviour, woohoo Arthur, mm. that's what <laughs> Good. So the army did genuinely need a hero and maybe they have built him up because that. Since joining OHS last year, I have been continually amazed by the wealth of extracurricular opportunities available to the girls. Every single day, there are fantastic things happening that go far beyond the classroom. From beekeeping to opera, Olympiads to poetry competitions, our girls excel at whatever they put their minds to. Throughout the year, an array of brilliant conferences take place, including a medics conference, economics conferences, Russian conference, and many, many more. 
each exploring different academic fields of interest and with a variety of inspiring guest speakers. These are accompanied by a fantastic year-long programme of weekly life lunches where visiting speakers provide exciting insights into their career journeys. We also have many unique OHS traditions, from the OHS birthday celebrations to Christmas form decorating, house choir and much, much more. The OHS community spirit is always present. At OHS, no two days are ever the same. Our girls are excited about now and inspired for their futures. We're going to be talking about the clubs and extracurricular activities and what the school gets involved in outside of our classroom. So the, the main club area is probably sports. We do so many sports clubs. There's netball, cricket, swimming, hockey, any sport that a girl would be interested in, really. Yeah. So. We get, to meet, we get to go and we get to meet loads of other schools and make new friends. We do lots of different clubs outside of sport as well. Like there's a laser cutting club, an art club, and there's also ancient history clubs, drama clubs, everything really. Mm. Music clubs as well, we have choirs and stuff. Yeah, chamber choir, it's really fun and you get to sing loads of variety of different songs and it's run by Dr. Foster, our head of music, which is really great. There's so many activities at our school, including just coming to school. Yeah, for instance, I take the bus. We have a bus partnership and it's paired with the school. I arrive every morning. I know all the people on the bus. Uh, we have a WhatsApp group chat, so that's how you know that you're all good friends. And I've known them for two or three years, so we've known each other for ages. Yeah, and just even if you don't take a vehicle and you live fairly close, um, I walk to school and just along the way I'll kind of pick up other girls and we'll just we'll just walk to school together and by the time that we're near school we'll just be in a big pack of girls just walking to school together talking and laughing and it's really fun. The food is amazing, we'll all sit together and we'll just talk about home, school, what we're doing, any we also talk a lot about our extracurricular activities and encourage our friends to join as well. Mm -hmm. And in the end, it'll probably just end in a big giggling fit with everyone <laughs> just having a good time. Our class is just all friends. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're all just friends. Mm -hmm. And then there's like a lot of other activities you can get involved in with too, like food committee is one Great. where you'll go to the dining hall and you'll see what we can improve for the school uh, food community. And then there's also stuff like uh, well-being, uh, things that we can get involved with and there are representatives in the classroom who do lots of things for everybody. There's an eco rep, a student council rep where we see what we can do to make the school better for everybody mm. and there's a lot of activities really. Yeah there are. Overall there's so Loads much more outside of the classroom. Extracurricular is a huge part of life here at Oxford High School. Be it sport, music, drama, there really is something for everyone. Sport is a big part of what I do and we have a huge extracurricular offering for our students here at Oxford High. We have the traditional sports such as hockey, football, cricket, athletics, tennis, swimming, but we also offer some additional sports such as water polo, fitness, badminton and many others to ensure that our students have a breadth of opportunity so they find something that they enjoy and they love. We offer clubs for all of these sports and any ability are welcome at our clubs. Any level, any experience, there really will be something that you will find and enjoy. Alongside our clubs, we also have a fixtures program that runs locally, regionally and nationally so our students get to experience the competitive element of sport as well as the participation level. Alongside that, we have our curriculum where our students get two and a half hours of physical education, which is an excellent offering for them, where again, we pride ourselves on the breadth of opportunity to try to generate a lifelong love of physical activity. There's a huge importance of positive mental and physical well-being for our students, and sport plays a massive part in that. So we want to ensure that all of our students get that and develop that throughout their time here at Oxford High. Our school offers every student a safe and comfortable space to talk about any struggles that we may have. During our weekly PSHC lessons, we are reminded of the importance of our well-being and what to do if we find that we are struggling with anything. We are able to talk to teachers, form tutors, heads of year or the school nurse if we need any guidance. And the school counsellors are able to offer any further help for any student who may want it. Hello, my name is Lucy Mullins and I have the joy of being the school nurse here at Oxford High School. 
The aim of my care is that by the time a girl leaves the school, I want her to be responsible for both her physical and her emotional health. I want her to know that she must always ask for help and that that's the right thing to do, to know her support networks and just to enjoy all the things that school offer with the pressures, but knowing that we are here for her. I help with PSHE and assemblies and that backs up what I do with the girls when I see them one to one. It's a joy watching the girls flourish and seeing them leave here ready for the next step of life and the outside world. Hello, my name is Julia. I work at Oxford High School as a part-time receptionist. I've worked here now for nearly 15 years, um, so hence I really do enjoy my role and come into work. One of our main roles is to be there for reception for the girls. We are here throughout the day um, for them to help and if any inquiries they might have. It can be as simple as um, they've lost their pencil case, but to that young lady, that's important to her and that's what we're here to do. One of the opportunities I get to be involved in as a sixth form student is the peer mentoring scheme, which is an inter-year programme in which you're assigned a younger student to guide and support in many aspects of their academic life. I think it's great for helping the young years feel settled into their new environment and studies, especially during this difficult time where they may feel isolated and not able to truly experience OHS life. There are many ways to get involved with this. For example, you could help your mentee find new and more effective ways of revising for exams or simply having a chat about their day. Feedback from my mentee has highlighted how my support has helped advance their confidence and understanding within the classroom. I feel great pride in being part of such an amazing scheme as not only does it help the mentee but also develops important life skills for the mentor. Personally, I feel my communication and listening skills have really improved over the course of this programme. Hello, my name is Jane Berry. My responsibility in school is to nurture our students' well-being and to ensure they're happy. Pastoral care is absolutely essential to everything we do here because we know that an OHS student is one who has resilience and determination to reach her potential in life. Our purpose here is to educate and nurture girls and we pride ourselves on having a pastoral care system that caters specifically for them. The 21st century world is not always an easy one to navigate with so many pressures on young women and we're proud to help foster individuals who are creative, intelligent, pragmatic and spirited. As Head of Pastoral Care, I'm immensely proud of our talented team of Head of Years and our Senko. They have many years of experience between them dealing with pastoral issues and they dedicate their time to making sure the girls thrive. But from time to time and when life is tough, students can require a little more support. And for those students, we have a committed and dedicated counselling team. Our wonderful school counsellors are very experienced in their field and our girls find it very easy to talk to them. At OHS we believe each girl is unique and it's a privilege to help each of them find their niche in our ever-changing world. Thank you for spending time with us. We hope you enjoyed learning more about our lovely school.